Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Today I'm going to review an application called ChromaCam, which is designed to do green screen effects without the green screen. I'm reviewing the trial version today, hopefully it's good enough and we'll go and purchase the full version. And without any other delay, let's continue. The first thing we need to do is actually get the application itself. You can get that by going to www.chromacam.me, clicking on download. The pricing itself, might as well do that all in here. We get a free version. It does contain a watermark, but as this was for testing purposes, I'm not too fussed about it. And the full program is about $30. Once it's downloaded, you install it with any other Windows application. Okay, the installation is finished and it's now popped up and it shows me a list of applications that it's actually compatible with, in this case OBS, XSplit, Skype, Hangouts, GoToMeeting, BlueJeans, never heard of that one, WebEx, never heard of that one either, and Zoom, which I've also never heard of. So obviously it's keeping the main ones on the main front page. Move that over here. So as you can see, I'm sitting up in the corner, there's nothing special about it. It seems to be working fine. You look down here, the PC is not very taxed at all. So what we would then do, we go into our webcam settings, and change that from my Logitech webcam to the ChromaCam software that was just installed, and give it a moment to reset. As you can see, it's trying to work out where I am. It seems to have issues with parts of my chair. Okay, give it a moment to actually load. And as you can see, it's popped up the settings for the application. So for the time being at the moment, what I'll do is I'll just put one of the dodgy brick walls or something in behind me. Okay. And at that point, it doesn't seem too bad. You can see it's lagging a little. What we'll have to do is watch the actual recording itself and see if this becomes a problem. I'm okay with that. Close that down and click OK. And as you can see, it's changed my image in the corner. And I kind of have to kick in. You can see that the brick wall is definitely there. So it's resized things as well, it's not, again, you could set up a scene specifically for this. So, you know, it's not the, the worst thing in the world. So I did see we were talking about green screen, so I'll turn on a green screen. Go back in here and go back into configure video. And turn on the green screen. Okay. Now, there's obviously nothing really behind me for it to show at the moment, so it's giving me the green screen effect. Yeah, it's not perfect. It isn't. But notice how much my CPU has went up since I turned on any of the filters using ChromaCam. You know, it's went up by like 50%. Now, this is a quad core i7. This isn't a slouch machine that I'm running this on. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move some back in the frame over here. And there's actually kind of not enough of me showing at the moment for me to, to kind of show you that. So let's go full webcam. And you can see that it's it zoomed way in. There, there's, <laughs> you know, it, it shouldn't be that zoomed in. And you can see that there seems to be a delay. If I move over and uh, go down here, change that to something else, come back, it's still laggy. There's no, you know, it, it's doing not a bad job. I mean, if I was just chunking down and sitting up in the corner, then you probably wouldn't notice the little issues around my chair, for example. But that's, it's far from perfect when it's zoomed right in on me like that. So let's just put this back the way it was. Change that back over my Logitech webcam. And then we'll click OK. And then I'll jump back over here and I'm back up hiding the corner.
So I recorded my Chroma Cam review around maybe a week, maybe two weeks ago, and I really wasn't happy with the software. And it's my first review, so you know I thought, well, maybe I should try it in other applications, as in the video I only showed OBS. And unfortunately, the other applications just gave me the same result, with the one exception being a program called CamFrog, which uses really low resolution, which is like 320 by 320 or something absolutely useless like that. It seemed to do a much better job at removing the background than it did anything else there. Unfortunately, people don't buy green screens and chroma cam type software for, you know, 320 by 320 resolution. And running it on HD just was not worth the hassle. It just it put so much strain on your CPU and it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. It wasn't running at full resolution even when it said it was. It's just a really bad piece of software. Uh, you can look at the footage which I've played just before this, which is me recording the video that you'd be watching at the time while I was doing the tests. And unfortunately, the footage that you seen me recording right at the start when I was explaining that it was laggy was just as laggy on the outputted footage. So it wasn't just like it was the preview that was lagging out. I can't recommend buying the software. I definitely, even a free version isn't worth it unless you're, as I say, using really low resolution software like CamFrog. So if I was you, I'd spend extra £30, or rather I'd spend the £30 and get a really low end entry level green screen from Amazon and just take the time to set up correctly in order to actually get it set up so that it does its job. Because uh, I definitely reckon that even the £30 screen would be a lot better than this software actually is. If you like this video give it a like, if you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.